Okay, did you look now? Fire. I start with this song. I have no knowledge of my own. I have no knowledge of my own. Holy Spirit, I look up to you. Have me. I have no knowledge of my own. <laughs> of course, uh, if you look at uh, Prometheus from the Greek mythology, he is also to have stolen fire from the God and gave it to humanity. And this is uh, seen in, in, the, in the sense of technology and, of course, civilization. And for this, he was chained to a rock and tortured for eternity. So knowledge can actually be problematic. First Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. Now, regarding your question about food that has been offered to idols, yes, we know that we all have knowledge about this issue. But why knowledge makes us feel important, it is love that strengthens the church. Actually, uh, I, I don't want to address the issue of uh, food being offered to idols. I think I've done that in another podcast. Uh, but this knowledge that about being popped up is what I want to talk about. Because we actually are people, because of the little knowledge that we have, uh, they begin to behave as if they were right. And you see them, you know, go on and on in WhatsApp group and even in interpersonal communication. But you know, the time when you look at their lives, you discover that that knowledge has not assisted them. They can't raise their children properly. They do not have a good home, and so on and so forth. That basically contradicts it. And so, just like Prometheus was chained to a rock and tortured for eternity, if your knowledge is making you pumped up, it's problematic. And that's why, uh, you know, Paul was actually telling the Corinthians that he's actually loved and strengthened the church. So, people, nobody has a monopoly of knowledge. In fact, sometimes for those of us, for those of us that are teachers, for instance, some of the students say something in class that you wonder where did that come from to show you that nobody has that kind of monopoly. So don't be arrogant because of whatever it is that you think you've been able to achieve in terms of uh, knowledge. You know, everything needs to be submitted to Christ, including the person that feels so arrogant that they're very knowledgeable. Come to the knowledge of Christ and get the humility that comes from knowing the Lord so that you can always give God credit rather than thinking that you know it all.